Hey, it's Chris Cutto, and I'm here to help you create your competitive advantage. Now, this video is part of a free training series where we literally show you how to create a mobile app, and we're using an example of a travel app. We're going to show you how to create a travel app in just a few hours. And so in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to create the headings using uh, shape tools and text tools. So this is our home page that we created in our previous video. And what we're going to do now is we're going to insert some text. And what we're going to do is we're going to make it stand out a little bit. So what we can do is there's several things we can do. We can insert a shape. And I'm just going to click on the rectangle here. Then the crosshairs will then give us the ability to insert a new shape. What we're going to do with the shape, though, is we want to step into our inspector. Now, our inspector, just to pretend that it didn't exist there for a second, this little icon here is the show hide inspector. So if you can't see your inspector, just click on this little eye button and it will open up your inspector. Then I want you to, to click on the color palette here, just like the paint palette. And that's where we can go in and change our shape around. What I want to do is perhaps give our, our shape a little bit of a cornering uh, so it's not completely square. And maybe we want to give it some coloring. Now, what color would we like to make it? Let's make it, uh, let's just make it a slight shade of gray. Nah, actually, do you know what? I'll leave it as white for now. Now we've got our shape. What we want to do now is inc include some text. So what I've done is just clicked on the text tool here. And now I'm just going to position the text where I like it to position it. So what am I going to call this? This is going to be called my holiday app. Let's do that. At the moment, you can't see anything. Why? Because the text is actually in white. So you can see I've just highlighted that. Now it's called My Holiday App. Because we're in our inspector, it knows that we're actually trying to change this object here. So we know that we've got text. So this is basically the, the object or the context that the inspector is looking at. And what we want to do is we want to change the color. What will we want this color to be? Let's step into My Colors and let's just use the custom color that we've got which is just brilliant. Now, let's change the size of this to, let's make it 24 for the time being. Yeah, let's make it 24. And now we can actually move this and make it sit exactly where we want it. I'm just going to change the size of my text. But the other thing that I might change as well is the font. Now, what font should we use? Let's use... Let's use something a bit more fancy. How about Lucinda handwriting? How about that? It's a bit more fancy. And let's make it bold. It is bold. Right. So the other thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that we anchor it appropriately. Now, why am I doing this is because I'm just in this example, we're just creating one or two layouts. We're not what you can do in FileMaker is you can create layouts for desktops, you can create layouts, specific layouts for iPads or or iPhones or web viewing. But because we're just making it this really simple and doing it really quickly, we're just going to create it for one. So what I'm what I've done here is that if you're looking at if we look at landscape or if we're looking at something on a landscape in an iPad or an iPhone or a mobile phone, whatever it might be, what we'll have here is that it will just adjust it will adjust accordingly to sit in the middle of the page because we've anchored the items uh, at the top center so that um, we can actually make sure that it's always going to be at the top center. It doesn't matter if it's landscape, portrait, on an iPad or an iPhone. It will always be top center. And that's what that does there. So there we have it. We've just created our little heading, our custom heading for our travel app moving forward. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Remember, we're here to create your competitive advantage. And we're going to show you how quickly we can do this with a custom mobile app.